I'm in my constituency this afternoon in Islington. I'm doing an advice bureau supporting people who've got serious housing problems and lots of complications in their lives. That is what all of us as MPs have to do. This morning I took a visit to Oldham to congratulate our new MP, Jim McMahon. Fantastic campaign, wonderful result, and I say thank you to everyone in Oldham that took part in the election and elected Jim as the MP, a worthy successor to the late Michael Meacher. He will bring to Parliament the experience of a town like Oldham, his experience as a council leader, but above all an absolute determination to get investment into Oldham, investment for new jobs, investment for developing industries, investment so young people coming out of school and college either do apprenticeships or go to university, but above all have the skills to expand our economic base in this country for everybody. Because the difference between us, the Labour Party and the others is that we want an economy that works for everybody. They're more interested in tax breaks for the very, very few. That's the choice. Your bottom will wish it had never been born! <laughs> Happy New Year, everybody. I hope it's a good one. We've just come through Christmas, great spirit, families coming together, communities supporting each other, helping out neighbours, helping out the homeless, helping out those who are victims of floods in so many parts of the country. I was elected leader of the Labour Party three months ago on a mandate for change. And during this last three months, we've challenged the government on working tax credits and defeated them. We challenged them on cuts to the police service and defeated them. We challenged them on running the prison service in Saudi Arabia and we defeated them. But we have to challenge them much more next year. Much more on their cuts to local government and their lack of investment in the needs of our economy and our people. We want to build an economy fit for the 21st century. 2016 will be the start of a journey to deliver a Labour government in 2020. A Labour government that will deliver a fairer, more just, more prosperous society that we can all enjoy. A society that works for all, not just the few. Fuck you, you fucking gay. <laughs> Just last month in the budget, they tried to take away up to £150 per week from people with disabilities to fund tax cuts for the very wealthiest. That's their priorities. This week, the publication of the Panama Papers drives home what more and more people feel. Quite simply, it's this. There's one rule for the rich and one rule for everybody else. And it's therefore high time, high time that we got tough on tax havens. Britain has a huge responsibility because many of those tax havens are in British overseas territories or Crown dependencies. The leaked documents show tax havens have become honeypots of international corruption, tax avoidance and tax evasion. They are sucking revenues out of our own country and many others, fueling inequality, shortchanging our services and our people. The government needs to go beyond warm words on tax dodging. There cannot be one set of tax rules for the wealthy elite and another for the rest of us. The unfairness and abuse must stop. So I say this to the government and to the Chancellor, no more lip service, the richest must pay their way. So instead of cutting Her Majesty's revenue and customs, the government must provide extra resources for the tax authorities to go after those, those who think they're above the law. It's simply unacceptable that while council budgets are cut, the services in which people rely on are being cut, the super rich elite dodge their taxes and flout the rules all over the world. Sorry. 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 Sorry.